Professor Sarah Sherman Stokes has been the clinical supervisor for the IRC for the past four years. She says for her clients, the ban has hit close to home. My initial reaction was one of, um, of, of shock, of, of anger, of, of fear for my clients uh, and for some of my students. We have a lot of international students. We have a lot of students who are immigrants themselves or who are from immigrant families. Um, I, I felt a palpable sense of fear and anxiety among my students, uh, not just because they were worried about their clients, but because they were worried about themselves and their communities and their families. We certainly have had an increase in fear and anxiety among our clients. Since 2014, the IRC has recorded over 60 successful cases for their clients, whether it's obtaining lawful permanent residence, humanitarian family visas, or work authorization. After the orders were put in place, Stokes took students to Logan Airport in collaboration with the ACLU to assist travelers and assure that their rights were not being violated. Um, it's important, I think, for students to know that, that lawyers have to show up uh, when there's something going on that we don't agree with. You know, we should show up and we should be there and we should get in the way um, and bear witness to what's happening and, and try to do good. Uh, law degree is a very powerful tool and I think you know, that, was, that was the goal, was to use that tool for good.